And you know, at Christmas, it always used to be, what's the great escape? Yeah. Well, you obviously didn't, <laughs> right? Or home what, Alone. What do you want? What, home Alone, yeah. Home yeah. Alone. Die Hard. Yeah. Wonderful Life. Wonderful Life. Do you life. know, a, a movie that is never rated, that I think, and, and it sort of ties in with what we're going to talk about next, is um, The Bishop's Wife, Cary Grant. Beautiful black and white it. film. Beautiful. Well, here's what happened. Cary Grant is an angel who comes down to earth, right? And the bishop is in a bit of trouble. But the thing is, Cary Grant then falls in love with the bishop's wife. Oh. And as an angel, he's not allowed to do that. No. Oh, it's a brilliant film. There was an updated version <laughs> with Denzel Washington. But anyway, all of this brings us to Call the Midwife's Christmas special because it is now a staple of Christmas it Day. Is. What is in story, though, uh, for the residents of Poplar and the midwives of Nanata's house this Christmas? Oh, the circus is in town. So Stephen McGann, who plays Dr Patrick Turner, and Jenny Agata, sister Julianne, of course, join us now. It's so delightful to see you. We, we're big fans of the show. And as Eamon was saying, it feels like Christmas wouldn't be Christmas anymore, um, Stephen, without the Christmas special. It's been amazing. This is our ninth one, I think. And every year that we do them, we never expected to become a staple. Like when I was a kid, you know, it was Morecambe and Wise and, and all of those like golden age in the 1970s programs. And you never dream or imagine that you're going to have that, that privilege and that duty too, to be yeah. something people turn to on Christmas Day. We take that very seriously. It's, it's an interesting episode, Christmas. It's slightly yeah. different from the other episodes, but we try and give a bit of hope, a little bit of sparkle, and still keep the drama of Call the Midwife in there too. Yeah, and, and as Stephen was, was saying there, Jenny, and um, this is the ninth one, there has to be pressure. You know this is a big event. I don't know what time of the year you guys create Christmas, whether it's July or whenever it is, but there it must, must be pressure to, to get it well done. Well, there's certainly been pressure this year. Um, not really felt it in the past. We normally do our Christmas special in April when it's really quite warm and we put snow down on the ground and pretend to be cold. Right now we're doing summer and pretending to be warm, which is a harder way around. But yes, I don't, it's, it's always a delight to do because the stories are always, the Christmas um, special, as, as Steve said, is, is something a little bit different and magical. And um, last year we went to the Outer Hebrides, we've been to South Africa. We've done some extraordinary things. And this year the circus comes to town and that's exciting. It is yeah. exciting. And we're set, um, Stephen, 1965, I believe. Um, and this is, yeah, and this is East it's End London in 1965. What was, would Christmas have been like then? Well, it wasn't as cold as it was a few years before in the big freeze. But still, you know, you have an England. We've been in this show since the late 50s and we came out of sort of austerity Britain and Britain is now swinging. So, you know, you have uh, the Beatles are in their pomp. You know, Britain has got the Bond films on the go. So although Britain itself isn't having too bad a time of it, of course, in places like Poplar, you still have your struggles, but you still make the most of it at the special time. And Jenny, um, at the end of the last series... Yeah, I remember Cliff Richard as well on, on Christmas in, in around about that time. Cliff Richard, <laughs> yes, he, he gets a mention. Um, also, Jenny, uh, I think at the end of the last series, Nanata's house was under threat of demolition, so all is not as happy as it, it could be at Christmas. Well, it I could be. Not. Does Nanata's house still exist today, doesn't it, Jenny? Not quite. There is, there is um, the, the, the group of people who are non artists' house, the nuns, um, exist, and they're near Birmingham um, and have moved a couple of times. As Well, we've moved once and we're under threat of moving again and that threat just stays there, which is worrying for all of us, but particularly mm -hmm. Sister Julianne. Yeah, yeah. Um, so much to the Christmas special, uh, 20 to 8, it's on uh, Christmas Day on BBC One for, for Call the Midwife there. Then, Jenny, there's a whole new series ahead. You guys are involved in filming mm -hmm. Series 10, as I understand. Yep, it's the beginning of um, Series 10. Extraordinary to think we've been, you know, as a decade now, uh, which means an awful lot of differences have, have happened in our own lives as well. I mean, the cast and crew and everybody's families have grown up and, and we've seen a lot. Yeah, and um, I just want to talk a, a bit more about Christmas, Jenny, as well. Um, uh, th there's... There's a carol concert we're going to talk about. Obviously, things affected things differently because of the, the pandemic and whatever. But um, this has got to do with, with raising money for cystic fibrosis um, research. And it is a gene that you carry. It is something that is in your, your family circle. 
Yes, I'm a carrier of the cystic fibrosis gene. Um, my husband is not, which means that we didn't have to worry about having a child with cystic fibrosis. Um, however, if two people who carry one of the faulty genes um, have a child, they have a one in four chance of having uh, a child with cystic fibrosis, which is a life-threatening, um, life-shortening um, condition. Uh, my, my brother and his wife, um, Caroline, both had um, the gene and my niece has it. And then oddly enough, I, I've now got, um, it wasn't, it was a big surprise because my, my niece also, um, she wasn't, she was a carrier. Her husband appeared not to be a carrier, but they had a child with cystic fibrosis and it turned out that he had a very, very rare gene. So it's just as well we had the heel prick test. So but things have changed so much with that. Um, we did an episode of, of um, in Call the Midwife in the second series of the first discovery of being able to test for CF. And things have moved on enormously since then. So your That's fundraiser exciting. with Carols by Candlelight, uh, you're going to be taking part That's in right. that, as is Dame yeah. Judy Dench and Damien Lewis. And um, how can you get tickets for that? You watch this virtually now online? It's going to, it's going to be premiering um, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Um, that'll be the first streaming of it. But then after that, people will be able to see it through to January. But if they go to the Cystic Fibrosis um, website, you know, um, cysticfibrosis.org.uk, um, they'll be able to see about um, donating and getting tickets you know, for a family. It's, I think, £10 or something, which is... And it's such a lovely occasion because this is something we've done every year for, for many years now. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, it's always the beginning of Christmas and listening to the Winchester Boys Choir singing and... Um, the readings and it's lovely and it usually lovely. takes place at St Luke's Church where we've well, recorded. Yeah, we hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, I hope the fundraising...